This episode of the Tom and Dan Variety Hour is brought to you by cars. Need to get somewhere? Take a car. Well, how did I get here? The then I shaved today. Did you? Yeah, I shaved my face and I, I have to say I feel like a newborn baby. That's that's very good. How's your face now? Uh, it's the same. It just sort of feels like, uh, just on my upper lip especially, it just sort of, you have that sense of, sort of like you're stroking a, a, a hairless dog. A, a what? A hairless dog. Right. That's a good feeling. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I haven't shaved in a very long time because really? I'm a dirty little bastard. Gross. Um, I mean, I don't really feel any need to because I'm not going anywhere right now within a quarantine. Yeah, and funny if I, if I If I do, I've got a mask on. No one's going to see my nasty... That's true. The masks little... are, yeah, are like perfect for people who don't want to shave because yeah. they cover that exact spot you want. Yeah. Oh, man, I got... I got made fun of for wearing a mask the other day by Did um you? I think I might I mentioned it on our little on our little groupy group chat but I didn't yeah. say what the guy said. He um he he was on a bike and it was like at a traffic light so he was biking towards me and I was walking towards him. It was because we were both crossing different ways and he biked past and as he did he just looked at me and laughed and went, "What do you believe in?" <laughs> And, like, <laughs> out of context, that's such a baller, yeah. like, thing to say to someone. What do you but... believe in? Because, <laughs> like, you're really going for the throat there, man, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I know. It sucked. I hate that guy. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that to kids on Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> They're just putting out milk and biscuits. <laughs> You look at it, you shake your head. You what dumb do you fucker. Dumbass, what do you believe in? <laughs> You're so fucking dumb. God, that's fucking cold. Yeah, that's I'm cold Dan. Style. I'm Tom. Yeah, you are. Um Yeah. Yeah. And <clears throat> we've got we've made ourselves a merry little podcast here yes. for um well, anyone and everyone to listen to of all mm. shapes and sizes and colours and creeds, anyone and anyone. Absolutely. Um, can hear this message um, because I've found out that there's many different rabbit holes online that are just so easy to fall down and get lost in and I wanted to dedicate some time to um, just looking f- just looking in through and down them so um, I thought Tom I could spend some time with you looking at uh, subliminal messaging oh there's uh, videos of subliminal messaging online, as well as a couple fun communities that are oh. dedicated to it. Can I can I just hit you with a few very quickly? Yes, please. Yeah, there's a there's um some hypnosis there's a, some subliminal videos that um you can do, and there's there's just really simple things okay. that they that they can do, like um you you can have subliminals to improve your self esteem and self worth. Okay, that sounds one, nice. Yeah, one to um remove your sugar cravings. That's great. Yeah, they can get a little more extreme. Um, remember people's names forever. Uh, procrastination cure. That's a quite a good one. Um, boldness hair regrowth. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, grow taller. Warning. Experimental. Oh. This... <laughs> We've not quite worked out the kinks yet. No, um, uh, we don't know how tall exactly you'll grow. Uh, so please watch out because uh, you might uh, bust out your roof. You might, and I think that's the main risk because um, the video that I see, it's a little, it's a guy. Uh, well, all the videos are like this. It's just images that flow past as they do. You can, if you turn your volume way up and you got headphones, you can hear someone talking. Uh-huh. That's the subliminal happening. Um, there's music over it to drown it out. The idea is the subliminals, they they affect your body and um you transform. And there's a there's some there's some interest there's some good comments on uh, yeah. on some of these videos. Our uh, comments are the best bit, Dan. The Hi. Best bit. Oh. Can you please make force grow seven foot tall fast subliminal for people over eighteen years old at subliminal transformation, which is the name of the channel. Oh, it's quite an intense call to action. This, oh, this guy needs it now. 
I instantly feel tingles in my legs, and my energy levels are flying, even though I just got back from winter shopping and was pooped. Oh. So, the people in these... It's working for some people. Um, apparently... Well, here's... This one really um, fucked with me, and this is when I stopped looking at anything that this channel, um, Subliminal Transformation, had to say, where... Someone said, according to this maker's podcast, he did not believe that subliminal to make physical change works. Therefore, this sub is contradicting. Oh. Which is incredibly bleak to think about, that he is just fucking lied to a lot of people. So there's some infighting in the subliminal messaging YouTube community. I fucking guess so, man. I don't yeah. I, uh, I moved away from this, and okay. I moved on to uh, something that I thought had more integrity, and that was um Therian subliminals. The what, sorry? Therian subliminals. I don't really know what Therian means. I'm not going to okay. look it up. The sort of content you're going to get from um Therian subliminals, let me see, Lion Shapeshifter, Pegasus Shapeshifter, uh, Falcon Shapeshifter, Hawk Shapeshifter, Pig Shapeshifter, there's a lot of videos that will allow you to shapeshift into these oh. different animals. I'm so interested. <laughs> yeah? About, like, how <laughs> a piece of video audio can turn you into a pig. <laughs> um, the creator put out a little video that's called Introduction. And um, and it's just a 30 second brief video. They said, hey, this is an introduction video. It's going to be a subliminal channel. Read about my page for more info. Made this for, mainly made this for animal shape shifting slash companion videos. But I will do other superpowers too. Way, pretty... way too casual. <laughs> way too casual <laughs> for what he's doing. Um, I don't want to know what this, this person is capable of. I'll pretty much make anything that isn't sexual mind control, beauty, or evil slash demonic. Other okay. than that, if I don't think I can do something, or don't want to, I'll tell you. <laughs> this, this was, um, I think, the part that really, um, really twisted my noodle around. Yeah. The, the fact that there are things this, pe- this person is incapable of. Oh. What the fuck can't they do? So, they they yeah. can make you a dragon. They can make you a dragon. This is just and a there, fact. there's no doubt that that happens when you watch these videos, right? You do turn into a dragon. Well, the person claims that it does work, that you can transform into them. But um, there are many people saying, can someone confirm this as works? People are saying, I can feel my body changing. I'm remembering my dreams now. Is that good? <laughs> How long when it's working? It just goes on like this. Is um, that good? Is that, is that good? <laughs> This this was the first one I found, Monkey Shapeshifter. Now, this video, upon first watching, I was very foolish, and I assumed it was just the same five pictures um, <laughs> of different monkeys <laughs> being zoomed in on um, and then played on a loop for eight minutes. Oh. Sorry, this monkey's very cute. I'm looking at it right now, the first one. I recommend people just find this and just look at it. It's very sweet. Little... Look at the monkey? Yeah, look at the monkey. If you look at monkey shapeshifter bracket sub, first result, right? probably, I'd hope. There's a little watermark in the corner made with Kind Master. By Therian Subliminals? Just find oh, out. Oh, okay. Um, this is what you will get from it, Tom. And this is what you will get pretty much from every video. <clears throat> what you'll get, shapeshift into a normal giant or anthropomorphic monkey. Full control over shifts. Hybridized forms. Get monkey tail in human form. Enhance senses, strength, speed, agility, intelligence, sense of direction, and health. Make eyes glow in the dark at will. Heal wounds at will. Do not test this. <laughs> Dragon, centaur, and griffin energy. Chakra and third eye opening. Three hours of sleep is like a full night's rest. Uh, uh, so, sorry, I don't, know wh- I don't know what to go back to there because there was so much you just said. And it's I, all real, I, man. Yeah, I picked up on making your eyes glow. Yes. Becoming an anthropomorphic monkey. Damn right. Which, or normal. By or the giant. way, of the animals, the monkey is the most 
anthropomorphic. Well, you'd think so. You can be <laughs> anthropomorphic versions of any of these animals, Tommy. Oh, yeah. And there was some, uh, There was a dragon in there. Yeah, you get dragon energy. Okay, cool. Along with centaur energy and griffin energy. All right. Would you like to hear some uh, some of the affirmations that you say to yourself? Now, affirmations are sort of things that you'd uh, you you say to yourself before yoga, like "I am strong, I am capable of anything I put my mind to." That's an affirmation. Do you want to hear some of the affirmations for monkey shapeshifting? Something that I need to say to myself in order to become a monkey. Correct. I'd love nothing more, Dan. I can shapeshift into a monkey. I can easily shapeshift into a monkey. I can instantly shapeshift into a monkey. I can safely shapeshift into a monkey. I can easily shapeshift into my original form. I can instantly shapeshift into my original form. I can safely shapeshift into my original form. I can change my DNA in an instant. I am always safe when shapeshifting. My body is always safe when shapeshifting. My mind is always shaped when shapeshifting. I keep my human color vision in my monkey form. My body masks my monkey DNA. I appear completely human when in my human form. God. My body masks my human DNA when in my monkey form. It goes on for a while. Dan, I do... the, the rate you said that made me picture someone who turned themselves into a monkey and then instantly regretted it. Because <laughs> I want to be a monkey. I want to be back to my normal form. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever regret these transformations, Matt. Because you get benefit. <laughs> you get benefits such as my body absorbs every nutrient from the food I eat. You get you get abilities like psychic attacks are near impossible to execute upon me. Because Therian subliminals know it's not perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect. Tom, how long do you think this list is? Oh, the list of things you have to say to yourself. Yeah, because if you guessed 700 words, <laughs> you would be halfway there. Fuck off. It's over 1,400 words long. Dan, why am I not seeing monkeys everywhere? <laughs> well, some they go to. Well, Tom, this is my belief. Monkeys have been on the brink of extinction for years and years, and only the um. Well, the 3,500-ish people who have watched this video and successfully... You included, by the way. Yeah, I'm a good... Well, I'm a good core of those of those views. And I gotta say, Tom, right now, I can easily break out of hypnosis or mind control at any time. I have perfect balance on any surface. I lose any fear of heights. I lose all fear of heights. I lose any fear of darkness. I lose all fear of darkness. I lose any fear of the unknown. I lose all fear of the unknown. Oh and, ma and many more things about me. <laughs> including, I'm incredibly intelligent. I'm incredibly clever. I'm a powerful shifter. I can shapeshift at any time. When I'm fully grown, my aging slows down. These are just some of the powers I've gained. I think we found your new Tinder bio there, Dan. I <laughs> no. No? It's got a 500 character limit. Oh, okay. This is just about as long as the essay I submitted <laughs> for my most of my grade oh. for uni. It's about the same length. That's really cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... You know what? power to them, I say, because if you're not happy in your homo sapien prison, just load up one of these videos, say some magic words, look at some pictures of There's monkeys. There's no magic words, Tom. This is this is nothing so silly as that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. Um, but do you understand? You could just be a monkey if you wanted to, Dan. That's beautiful. <sighs> You sure fucking could, I guess. <laughs> you sure can be a monkey. I mean, even if, and I know every everyone on the internet is just is just pretending. Everyone on the internet is just is pre pretending because it's all a big game to all of them, and they just want to poke fun at shit. Even if this is a troll, even right. if this is a troll account making uh, pretend videos. Um, <laughs> Why sorry, would someone just... go on the internet just to lie? I don't know. I. I this is... I just noticed that this video has no dislikes. It's only <gasps> likes, baby. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, anyway. fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. There is at least one person who says this to themselves 
three plus times a day Ooh, yeah. and has been doing so for six months. What's Johnny doing in the toilet? I don't know. I can. It's just like muffled chanting going on. <laughs> I can just. Is something something about a something about a third eye? I think he said monkey at one point. Is like, ah, just leave him. He'll be all right. He's fine. He'll be all right. This is um, I was just looking at the horse one. Um, a lot more. Uh, just the what? again. And... Sorry, no. F- fucking back up. What the horse one? <laughs> the horse one. Yes, wow. the horse one. You, I'm sorry, when you become a horse, you get master of fighting in all forms. No yeah! One to talk fuck and yeah, one dude! To fight. Whoa! When you're a horse and have hooves, you <laughs> can... Jesus Christ, dude. Do you know how horses are famous for their fighting ability? <laughs> you, know, you know how horses are so capable of not dying. Yeah, they're... they're... You know how horses are so famous for being just so resilient... Yeah, especially in the leg department. As yeah, well. especially those in the guys, leg department. Those guys are fucking bulletproof, man. There's no chance that if you look at a horse the wrong way, <laughs> it won't instantly break all of its legs. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know where I fucking heard this, but the horses, their legs are fingers. Sorry, Tom. Um, my audio went a little funny there. Can you repeat that? No. <laughs> their horses' legs. Mm-hmm. What you see of a horse's legs are their fingers. The bones that make up their legs are the same, have the same, you know, uh, right. uh, architecture as other animals' uh, fingers. Fingies, right. Fing- uh, little uh, hand sausages. So, so what... it's just like a big hand. <laughs> so it's just a big hand, isn't it? If there was to be a more mighty morphing mech of real animals, the horse would be the hand because their legs are four incredibly long fingers, and that is why their hooves look the way they do. Is because they are in fact fingernails. Tom, I've been looking at animal transformation videos and a whole host of other fucked up things that we haven't even got onto yet. That's the worst. <laughs> thing I've heard in my whole... I thought the way this thing was going to work is that you bring me the weird shit and I have to deal with it. <laughs> well, Tom, that's... Uh, I just looked up horse skeleton and, yeah. like, a comparison of the hand and all... <laughs> yeah, it's upsetting to look at, huh? But that's something I found out recently and I... I, I Dan, I couldn't resist telling you because you mentioned horses. I really loathe you sometimes. Yeah, that's fine, especially when I say stuff like that. That's understandable. That's fine. Another power. I don't even. I'm so sad now. So Dan, it's fine. Give me, give me more. Come on. Well, on I just wanted to say another power you can get when you're a horse is uh, crowns, cavities, and fillings are replaced with natural tooth material, <laughs> comma perfect teeth. Sorry, you've got. Uh, I think you've got a dentist appointment today. Nope. <laughs> My teeth are perfect. Uh, yeah, I do have a dentist appointment with a uh, Doctor Therian Subliminals. Uh, thank you. Presses enter on keyboard. Yeah, baby. Um, this is a very good comment on the um, the the horse one. It might just be me, but I think I faintly fent Faltum. Fuck. <laughs> no, give it. Give me another take. On that. All right, Daniel Bird auditioning for Christopher Hayes um, mm-hmm. in Therian Subliminal's uh, horse transformation. Uh, take two. It might just be me, but I think I faintly felt phantom hooves and fur. My head also hurt, and I know that's a good sign. Also, how many forms are we limited to? Plus, how long will we live with these powers? One thousand years or more? That would be cool. I'm just so tired of humanity and how mundane our world our world is. People call me lazy, but honestly, I just don't care. The life of an animal seems way more appealing to me. Sure, they have to look for food and avoid being killed, but at least they don't have taxes or annoying co-workers or bosses. Animals are their own boss. Hey, uh, hey, what what happened to to Chris in accounting? Chris. Yeah, Chris from accounting, you know, the blonde hair, a beard. Oh, he turned into a horse, man. <laughs> right. Like a, like a centaur? No. No, no, he's a horse. Oh, Tom, you can become a centaur with this. That is included 
Oh, I'm s- oh fuck! I I slip of the tongue there, Dan. I'm so sorry. I suggested that you couldn't. <laughs> I feel like we're on the. You know when you're in a playground in like primary school, and you you'd like someone would shoot a laser at you, and you not wanting to die would be like, no, I've got a force field that blocks lasers, <laughs> and they would then say, nah, I've got a laser that goes through force fields, and it would continue like that. This just feels like that. This feels yeah. like someone was pretending at being a horse, and someone kept like killing them in different <laughs> ways. They kept freezing them to death so they say comfort comfortably withstand any temperature they kept ripping them apart so they said heal wounds in <laughs> seconds at will it's like someone who doesn't understand D D character creations and they kind of just say they're immune to everything <laughs> so they can sort of do anything oh man Fucking that is interesting though so maybe all of those things that you uh want to get out of uh these transformations come from personal experience for people so maybe they've Ooh once found themselves uh, too cold so they yeah. uh seek out an animal you know that's famous for not being cold the horse or, or something uh <laughs> right you know it, oh, i wish i was tall. no because there's because there's no other animals that are famous for resisting the cold it's just the horse it's just the the famous arctic horse <laughs> yeah do you go to deepest antarctica <laughs> and it's full of horses yeah that's why um why, why great scott his expedition to the to the to the south pole it went so badly because they mm. brought horses and they were too well acclimatized to the cold yeah that they just all died because the it horses was just... just made the horses just made fun of them for not yeah. being able to withstand the cold <laughs> i just <laughs> okay i found my favorite comment on any of them uh-huh it's on the pig. It's on the pig shapeshifter. I'm so excited. It's just from a guy. And let me see. His icon. His icon is a pig. <gasps> um, it worked. Like, it's a cartoon pig. And oh. his comment just says oink. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, it worked. It worked. It worked. This guy did it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I, wow. I, I had some doubts, but. If it works it. for him, and he's very clearly a pig because he said, he only, said the most, only the most famous catchphrase we know pigs say. That's the pig. That's the pig catchphrase. That's what they say. Can we, uh, Dan? Can we say the O word if we're not pigs? Tom. Yeah. This is neither the time nor the place for that sort of talk. I'm very busy trying to have an apolitical oh, I'm podcast sorry. here. I'm just, I just, I think, I think it'd be insensitive if any pigs are listening that we, if we say the O word. I don't want any of your social justice shit in here, man. I'll say it oink okay. if I fucking feel like it. <gasps> okay, all right. Um, I, I, the pigs listening, I, I, I may have said it not five seconds ago in the recording, but I won't say it again. Well, I don't care about the police, so I'm not gonna apologize. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Lovely stuff, Dan. Thanks. Yeah. Low hanging fruit never tasted You're so good. You're very brave. You're very brave. I know. There's a there's a couple more trans. I mean, there's not a couple more. There are thousands of other transformation videos on other channels. The creator did say that there are some side effects, and uh, they are back pains, headaches, personality change, <laughs> developing the mentality of the bird of your choice. Depends on each person and their choice. So, pretty much the same as birth control. Oh, right. Yeah. Do you think do you, do you think it works as birth control? Becoming oh, f- a bird? Oh my god, do you think that if you shifted whilst pregnant... What would oh, that... Dan! Oh no, what would it... Dan! Do you just lay eggs instead, or what? Man, I but... fucking guess, yeah! Yeah, I fucking... You just you lay eggs instead now. Oh, I don't want to think too much about this because I know there's porn that someone's oh, had. Dan, Dan don't worry. There things. won't be much thinking in this show. You don't have no, to worry thank about God. That. Yeah. Oh, man. You're right about the porn thing, though. I know. There's going to be porn of every single thing I've brought up and mentioned. Yeah. Let me just close my horse legs or fingers tabs. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Dan, dinner's ready. <gasps> what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Uh... <laughs> It's porn, it's porn.
One of the subliminal channels said that he's a licensed hypnotherapist. What the fuck does that mean? Who gives those licenses out? Let me uh, just look up. Yeah. Okay. UCAS website. What? On the careers section. Find career ideas. What do I need to do to become a hypnotherapist? There are no essential qualifications to become a hypnotherapist. Well, okay. Proof is in the pudding, fellas. Yeah, there's more about you choose take a qualification approved by the National Council for Hypnotherapy. <laughs> the there's I, I I'm not spending time talking about hypnotherapy societies. I do not want to give them the time of day. I just, I, just don't. I love the idea of the hypnotherapy council <laughs> of like a round table of people. <laughs> Did everyone bring their swinging watches? I tried hypnotizing myself with these. Yeah? I did try uh, one which was lose your voice. Did Didn't you? work. No, I, well, we've been talking all this time, so yeah. if, you, if you told me it did work, that... Yeah, I still got it up. Um, I, oh, Hold on. No, I didn't... Wait, I didn't finish it. Let me just see if there's an... Dan? Dan, no! Oh... Oh, man. This show's going to be so bad now. It's just me. Ugh. All right. We had to wait a few hours. I d it did wear off. I can talk again. Oh, fine. good. Yeah. And, um... Dan, I was so worried about you. Yeah, that was weird, man. I th I th it's very hard when you're on Zoom with someone without their camera on that when they have lost their voice to try and communicate with them to see if they're okay. It's frightening. I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay though, buddy. Thank you. During the time, I did get to um, experience a few more hypnosis videos. Oh, I'm glad. I tried um, hands-free orgasm. Tell me that. Uh, uh, so, no, sorry. I was just typing something into into Google. It's, it's, uh, sorry, what were you saying? Um, hands-free orgasm. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've got. You have got the link to that. Bit, yeah, I've got you? the link to it. Now, it, it, it works. It it works? Yeah, it works. Um, The weird thing about it is it's the first, like, five minutes, it's just the same five photos of monkeys played <laughs> over with, like, very quiet subliminal messaging. <laughs> Again. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, is this the same channel? No, it's a, that's the weirdest thing. It's a oh. different channel. That's so strange. But again, it's it's showing it's showing the the the, the monkeys. Oh, that's so weird. Presumably weirdest. something different. And well, but it works. Yeah, they were doing it for me, man. They oh, were working wow. for me. Oh. Yeah. You found something new out about yourself, huh? Oh, I did. Oh. So, got to say, hypnosis works. And that is the soundbite you can trust. Oh god, please don't quote me on that shit. <laughs> yes, this won't be going anywhere. You'll be absolutely fine. I'll let, don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll edit it out, Dan. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just meditation, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Is that another soundbite we can use? Yeah, alright. It's just meditation, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I think my audio peaked just then. You might have broken <laughs> your mic. Can you test it? Come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're that. good. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Dan, just uh, stop talking for a second. My uh, producer's handing me a, a, a piece of paper. Oh, uh, what's, what's Jeeves giving you? Uh, th uh, thanks, Jeeves. <laughs> Breaking news, uh, this just in. Peppa Pig is hypnotizing your kids, and that's why you can't ever turn it off. What? This uh, comes to us exclusive from Metro. Uh, this article was written by George Griffith uh, on, by the way, the Friday the 13th of March 2020? <laughs> what? 2020? Th the 13th of March? That George had very little else to write about, I suppose, in <laughs> March 2020. Jesus Have you ever Christ. wondered why your children never let you turn the TV off when Peppa Pig is on? We all know Peppa Pig is a... Uh, uh, fuck. We all know Peppa Pig is a. What is that fucking word? We all know Peppa Pig has been around for 16 years and so. And fuck. Shit. Fucking bollocks. 
Go again. We all know Peppa Pig is a stalwart of kids TV. She's been around for 16 years, so she's got some serious staying power. But is there something more going on? According to a child psychologist, Peppa Pig may actually be hypnotising your children. Jesus Christ. Dr. Martina Paulager of the Director of International Psychology Clinic says that the unusual voices of Peppa and Daddy Pig have a hypnotic tone to them. Really? So she says here that the uh, Peppa has a very high voice and that Daddy yes. Pig has a very low voice. So contrasting them apparently is uh, able to maintain and attract your child's attention for a, a long period of time. What on God's green earth is she talking about? They really don't have anything to write about right now. No, they're, they're not really much going on. But um, it's interesting that uh, uh, Jeeves handed me this uh, while you were talking about sort of hypnosis and subliminal messaging, because this is very much in theme with uh, what we were talking about earlier, Dan, wasn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? You know, it really was, Tom, and i got to say, it's so fluid. And, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, and seamless how Jeeves handed it to you. It's, it's, I think it's kind of rude that he just he kind of scrunched it up into a ball and threw it at my nose, though. Yeah, well, he it didn't sound like that happened at all. Well, you know, post-production's a beautiful thing, Dan. Yeah. Isn't this fucking weird, though? <laughs> Who knew oh. that my girl Pepper was hypnotizing our kids our kids dan the main picture for it is pepper and her eyes are just spinning round and round so all george griffiths is doing is encouraging this hypnosis man i bet george went i have the perfect gif for this article (laughs) you have the pepper tab on his camera roll and just uploaded that shit his pepper hypnosis tab. (laughs) his pepper demonic 666 do not open (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and that's a note for his children, so that they do not get tempted by Peppa Pig's alluring hypnotic gaze. Absolutely. Hypnotize them to do what? <laughs> Keep the TV on, I guess. Teach the kids to be incredibly angry about their inability to whistle. <laughs> Teach hypnotizes the kids to go onto YouTube and turn themselves into pigs. <laughs> 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 It's all coming together. It's a Dan. It's a circular narrative. Oh, uh, ow, Jeeves! Stop right? throwing piece. Sorry, Jeeves just threw another piece of paper at me. Oh, it it definitely sounded like he threw that one. Yeah, I know. I really got. They really did some damage that time. I'll go to the hospital in a second. But while yeah, I'm it here, sounded very genuine and real. Yeah, that was that was sort of high budget uh, sound editing there. I gotta say, I it mean, definitely not was. editing. It's it's real. So you know. Yeah. Are you going to read the fucking article? Yeah, I'm going to read the article, all right? Um, he... Thank you, Jeeves. <clears throat> Marmite wants to hypnotise its biggest haters into lovers. The brand will host a mind control experiment to change people's taste preferences. Huh? The campaign, created by Adam and Eve, red flag, what? invites the... Ne- <laughs> what? I guess, the, I guess that's the company's name or something, but it's just No, fucking... no, 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 that's a... That's a... That's... Mm, what the... <laughs> It's funny that it just says created by Adam and Created Eve. by the original sinners. <laughs> created by the mother and father of sin. Yeah. Invites the nation's biggest Marmite haters to join a 15-minute hypnotic mind control experience that will try and turn them into fans. It, it was developed in uh, consolation with hypnosis and author Roy Fulcher. People can apply for the experience online where they can... Uh, where they answer a series of questions. So a select group will be invited to travel to London to watch his uh, hypnosis film under controlled conditions. Fulcher will oversee the experiment and employ a series of mind control techniques designed to change their state uh, perceptions and transform them into Marmite lovers. Okay, if if you hate Marmite, you're not constantly thinking, man, I wish I loved Marmite. <laughs> man, I wish I wanted to buy this product. <laughs> My life's so perfect, but gosh darn, there's one thing that I wish I was different about me. I wish I loved Marmite. <laughs> but I can't stand the stuff. I'd do it. Yeah? If I didn't already like Marmite, what the fuck? Who? No <laughs> one's. No one is gonna do it. Do you reckon no. it has the reverse effects? Oh god. So if you did it, you'd fucking hate the stuff, Dan. I don't know. It'd be like... scary. So it, 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 it just works like a Uno reverse card, is what you're saying. I guess. Huh. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, Jeeves is like, he's kind of making obscene gestures at me. Oh, there's more of the article. Okay, sorry. Uh-huh. Rachel Chambers, marketing manager at Marmite, which is a fucking hilarious title, <laughs> says, The taste of Marmite has been dividing families for over 100 years. We're pleased that we have finally cracked how to convert even the most uh, venomous of haters into lovers using the power of hypnosis. <laughs> Use. <laughs> hey, hey, Marmite, fucking terrifying. <laughs> using the incredibly benevolent and <laughs> kind power of mind control, we're going to help these people you by know, altering like their brain aliens waves. do. Yeah. Hypnosis is real. Yeah? Yeah. I think that's the soundbite I want to finish on. Finish? Oh, Dan, it's not fucking over. Okay. Well, what about now? Tom, let's wrap up. Yeah? All right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Thank you for listening to the first of many beautiful, sexy episodes. We hope we've made your life, I guess, worse. I yeah, I think this out. one this one will have uh, effects that are worse on people. Yeah. Well, n- unless you wanted to turn into a monkey or a pig or a horse or etc. And if you were ever wondering if there's any way on planet Earth that you could learn to love Marmite, now you know. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thanks for having us, guys. Uh, first of many. <laughs>